Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, my name is Colin White, and I'm delighted to take you through uh, today's presentation. So today uh, we're going to be looking at uh, four main points. What are the challenges that teams face while building complex projects? How do they then collaborate with more effectively within uh, JAMA, and how do they collaborate within their product development process compared to um, what they might be doing before they start using JAMA? And then feeding on from that, how does that enable them to ensure better compliance with industry standards or rules and regulations that they need to work within? And finally, I'm going to touch upon how we can accelerate the verification and validation between different systems. And obviously then that, how that ties back to being more compliant and collaborating throughout your engineering process. Okay, so what is it that we're hearing from our customers? Very often teams are choosing JAMA and tools like JAMA because they want to move faster than they currently are. They feel that they're held up by approval times. They want to have earlier sight of problems that are coming because you know products are becoming more complex and there's where previously they were purely mechanical now there's electronics and where there's electronics there's software so you end up with much more complexity and it becomes difficult to see from one discipline into another when people are using different teams and when there's different teams there's different tools often different sites so how do people get their products to market in a known good way of high quality when you've got all this extra, all these extra dimensions of complexity that comes in? Um, and really that comes down to processes and working out how to make the, the teams communicate and work within processes and perhaps optimize those processes as you roll out a tool like Jam. So I guess I would summarize that sort of first challenge really is saying that Teams are communicating, of course, we, we, we are all using um, Slack and email and various other tools, uh, perhaps documents in Word and Excel and those kinds of things. But how do we actually talk about them and work and reason about those, those work items? It happens across all kinds of teams. We see problems where, you know, the hardware teams have not correctly communicated requirements to the software teams. And people have known about it in one team, but they're not necessarily sharing it with others. And likewise, when the marketing team has got new ideas, they don't necessarily propagate those to the rest of the uh, company as quickly and as efficiently as they might. So it can take a long time, you know, to um, arrange meetings between internal and external teams. And it can really spend a long time where people are filled out almost gold plate big documents before they share them ready for just that one meeting. So uh, what we want to enable and what we want to really point out is that if you collaborate in a structured way, you can work around the actual data that's important that you're communicating about. And what JAMA provides is a really a single communication platform. So as people bring their data into JAMA, what we're able to do is kind of really move from that, let's say that physical and cultural silo where you're operating on different teams and different sites. And instead of sending your message in the email alongside a document, what you can do is comment directly on that data inside JAMA. So for example, here you can see that you get the, there's a screenshot here of this, the stream feature within JAMA. What that means is that just by opening the JAMA homepage, people can get a view of what is going on. They can see the, where they've been mentioned. They can see the chat that's happening and you can see who has done what recently. And of course, then if there's anything that needs you know, my immediate attention, I can, I can wade right on in and start work on the content directly within JAMA. So there's you know, less need to worry about the formatting of documents, who am I going to offend by making comments or changes in this particular word comment, word document, I can just make comments, collaborate in the tool directly. And then if I want to just make work to the, the change, if I just want to change things in the tool directly, I can. Jammer is always, uh, what, is always keeping track of what's happening. As one of my colleagues said a couple of weeks ago, Jammer is like Vegas. What happens in Jammer stays in Jammer. So this means that teams can work fearlessly the, by making changes and collaborating and just getting on with it. You can make the work and the contribution directly in the tool. And then if you need to change it or back it out, 
that versioning uh, system lets you do that. By putting things in the tool in a, let's say, unified set of processes and practices, and I'm going to speak a little bit about how we do that as we go forward, um, but by having the processes all inside JAMA and uh, maybe different teams working in slightly different ways, they can all talk together and contribute together on each other's work within the tool. So how does that actually look? There's some, there's some simple things you can do when you're uh, in Java. You can just involve people directly. So that all several places throughout the tool, there are comment boxes. Uh, you can just at mention somebody and it will already directly invite them into the system. So we can, in, we can include people for the first time just by, you know, pretty much just like a digital tap on the shoulder and say, welcome into the tool and, and just get involved. You can do that kind of informally around the content that's structured inside JAMA, but also we have the uh, review center. So wherever I am in the many places in the tool, I can just start a review and I can invite people to that. Uh, review to look at just one or two items or entire sets, you know, equivalents of, of previous document centric ways of working. So I can uh, have people just included in my work um, and included in that conversation around the uh, sets of data.